Volkswagen Tiguan with a 2 liter uh, TSP motor. Now, this fault is going to apply to anything with a TSI motor that I've seen so far with the intake runner issue and intake runner being replaced. Um, this customer, for example, has come here after being in another shop. They replaced the intake runner. The fault is still there, etc., etc. They wanted us to take a look and see if we could figure out what is wrong now after the intake runner has been replaced and calibrated. Um, the fault that came back, ignore the mass airflow sensor fault, um, that's from the airbox being out right now. It's P2015 or 08213, intake runner, position sensor, circuit, switch circuit, range performance. Remember, this is a range performance issue. This is not an electrical issue. Um, now, I'm going to go over on my hotel the live data you're going to see some very odd things here now when I scroll all the way down to intake runner now I've already tried to recalibrate and everything and I've already figured out what the problem is I'm going to show you guys how to figure this out yourselves too one step to check also after a runner has been replaced remember a lot of the components on the new intake manifold are a different design so you have to look out for it. Not a lot of them come with the same solenoids or the same sensor. I've actually had a sensor come from the dealer on a brand new manifold upside down mounted on the intake. So you have to look out for that. Make sure everything's mounted correctly and everything's of the correct uh, component. Now, when you look over here on the intake runners, you have actual, where it, what it's at, and spec what the ECU is sending out and position offset voltage and whether the adaptation is in error or whatnot. Now, what I was seeing here is when you hit the throttle, it goes to 100% and just sticks there on actual, meaning it's not releasing for some reason or the vacuum is cons consistent on it. So, Checking the solenoid, checking the routing of the, the the vacuum lines, checking all the vacuum. Everything looked good on the vacuum end. Um, um, now remember, I didn't take the intake runner off for this. Um, I was just double checking here, there. Solenoids was switching, but I just kept having it. I rerouted the, the hoses just in case there was a revision in the solenoid. It was the same problem over and over again. Now... Once I, I decided to pull the air box out, get the solenoid out, this is what I found. The back end of the solenoid is blocked off with a vacuum and a plug. Now, the old solenoid design is like this. This is the old solenoid design. You have your inlet, your outlet, I mean your inlet, your outlet, and your relief. Meaning this is where the air, the vacuum releases from the solen from the diaphragm after you stop actuating. On the new solenoid design, you actually don't have that relief for the cap. You have a nipple. This is what I found on there. That is not a vacuum fitting. That is not a vacuum fitting. That is actually the relief for the solenoid. You have to make sure that that is not plugged up. Now once I've pulled the plug off, watch the readings now. I didn't shut the engine off nothing. Look, we got the runner back into actual, the spec back to zero. Now based on the load, you'll have different uh, readings, but when act spec is activated, actual should jump a little bit, but always return to zero. Now we could clear 
go to clear faults. My hands are dirty, so the touch screen is not working well. Okay, now we're going to have the air mass meter come back clearly because it's not plugged in right now. But the intake runner fault will come back almost immediately when you're idling the car. And when you hit the throttle, it will definitely pop up. Okay, cycle the key. Key on engine off. Just read codes again. Make sure that we don't have any residuals. Okay, everything's good. Let's go to live data again. Okay, adaptation's okay. That means the fault is cleared. And we're going to start the engine. Now, you're going to always see a little bit of variation between 0 to 2 on the actual. That's just due to adaptation issues. Um, it's not going to pick that up unless there's a very big da uh, variation. Um, now when I match the throttle, everything seems fine. There you go. So remember, this number, after you hit the throttle, even on a load while driving, the actual reading should always go back to zero always go back to zero if it's not going back to zero that means the diaphragm is either stuck or the solenoid is blocked off on the relief side all right um, spec is going to always fluctuate depending on load um, at idle you're going to have zero at light throttle you're going to have zero but when you're driving or when you're really on it it's going to jump up okay um, i hope this helped a lot of you guys um, I've seen a lot of issues regarding intake runners being um, replaced or installed incorrectly. Um, it's very important to know how to install them correctly. Always double check the components. Make sure they're mounted and seated in the right way. And you'll have better success than I did. Alright? Now, alright. So, um, please like, subscribe. And hope to pop up some more videos for you guys, helping you guys out, alright? Take care.